All about Monaco country, English reading practice. Once upon a time, in a small country called Monaco, there lived a young boy named Max. Max was curious and loved learning about different countries around the world. One day, Max decided to explore Monaco and learn all about its rich history, beautiful landscapes, and fascinating culture. Monaco is a tiny country located on the French Riviera, known for its luxurious lifestyle and breathtaking views of the Mediterranean Sea. Despite its small size, Monaco is packed with interesting facts and landmarks. Max began his journey by visiting the famous Monte Carlo Casino. This grand casino is a symbol of luxury and attracts people from all over the world who come to try their luck. Max was amazed by the elegant architecture and glamorous atmosphere of the casino. Next, Max explored the Prince's Palace of Monaco. This magnificent palace has been the official residence of the Prince of Monaco since the 13th century. Max learned about the royal family and their important role in governing the country. He even saw the changing of the guard ceremony, where soldiers in ceremonial uniforms march in perfect synchronization. Max continued his adventure by visiting the Monaco Cathedral, a beautiful Roman Byzantine-style church. Inside, he discovered the burial place of many members of the royal family, including Prince Rainier III and Princess Grace Kelly. Max was captivated by the stunning stained glass windows and peaceful atmosphere of the cathedral. As he walked through the streets of Monaco, Max noticed the luxurious yachts docked in the harbor. Monaco is famous for its glamorous yacht culture, and many wealthy individuals own extravagant boats. Max imagined what it would be like to sail on one of those magnificent yachts. Finally, Max made his way to the Oceanographic Museum of Monaco. This impressive museum is dedicated to marine science and conservation. Max learned about different sea creatures, coral reefs, and the importance of protecting our oceans. He even had the chance to touch a starfish and watch colorful fish swim in a giant aquarium. After a day filled with exploration and learning, Max realized that Monaco may be small in size, but it is big in history and culture. He was grateful for the opportunity to discover this fascinating country and couldn't wait to share his newfound knowledge with his friends and family. As Max left Monaco, he knew that his adventure had only just begun. There were so many more countries to explore and learn about. But for now, he would always cherish the memories of his time in Monaco and carry the spirit of curiosity and discovery with him wherever he went. And so, Max's journey to learn about the world continued, one country at a time. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.